This is our video on the tire machine. We're going to cut tires. We're going to walk around a tire cutting machine today to get you familiar with it. These are the controls. This is the tire mounted. And then it has a template here that we're going to follow. And this is all tire shavings from the tires that we've been doing today. And then down here, we have our templates mounted. That's the type, type and shape of the tire right there. And then we're going to turn this on and show you how it spins. Right there, it's spinning. And you can see that our tire is pretty good. It has a little wobble here and there. And that's what we're going to get out of it today. Okay, we're going to turn the tire cutter on and we're going to cut this tire and see how straight we can get it. It's turning the wrong way. Now we're turning the right way. Need to spray a little bit of water on it, keep it lubricated. And now we're going to go forward and backwards here. Okay, we're going to stop that for a second. I'm going to show you where we cut. Right here, we barely took any off. But you can see where there's a shiny spot and a dull spot. There's no cut there. And right there, that's all cut. We're going to start our second pass on this tire, see if we can get all the wobble out of it. You can hear it right now, it's still wobbling. We're going to take this all the way to the end and see how much wobble we can get out of it. This side looks pretty true because it's coming off as a steady stream. And here comes our build up, and we're to the end. So now we're gonna turn this off. Check out our tire. So here's our cut tire. You can see that that surface is completely smooth, but when you get around, here you go where the bit hasn't been hitting the tire. So right there, and right there is the low spot, and then it goes back to round. So anything we can get out of this tire, we can keep on going, but we're taking tire tread off the tire. So we might do one more pass. So now we're gonna do another pass, try and get this thing more true. Still not touching, now we're starting to touch. We're still touching, now we're getting a nice steady stream. And that side of the tire is pretty good. We're going to spray it down with some water. See if we can get this center. There we go, we got a little stream going. And now we're back to pretty good. So let's turn this off and take a look. Let's see where we're at. Now I'm gonna show you our cut tire here. And you can see those wear bars look like they're brand new. And then this is how much out of round it is. You can see those wear bars are cut down. That's a pretty flat surface right there. 
and then you go into an uneven surface again and there's our cut surface again okay we got this tire cut and I don't want to take any more off of it because the more tread we take off the less tread we have on it so now we're going to sand it smooth Spray more water. One more pass. Wipe it with a rag, then we're going to stop the machine and see what it looks like. This is pretty much our finished tire. It still has some low spots, but we've evened it out pretty good with the sander. We don't want to take too much material off the tire. We can keep on going until it's completely flat, but then we're taking more material off. To get an idea, this is how much material we've taken off like seven tires today. Probably double or triple this. Okay, our next step is we're gonna wrap it in plastic, label it, and be done. So now we're gonna take our tape measure. We're gonna measure the diameter of it. And it's 33 and an eighth. So now we're going to put the saran wrap on it. I like to double it up and then we're going to cut it with the knife. And then we're going to write on it some notes. This tire is 33 and an eighth, right front, black rim, and uh, this is going to be a new cut. And we're almost done. The last thing we do is on the inside edge, we're going to write the date. So we find a nice clean spot on here. AK for Austin Kreida, 12, 19 of 19. So we're writing a date on there so we know when this tire was cut. So that one's done. Here's all the shavings from our six, seven tires and we're gonna smush it into a rubber ball. See if we can bounce it off the floor. It's really sticky. Let's see the ball. There's our rubber ball. Give it a bounce. Didn't really bounce. If you liked our tire cutting video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. See you at the racetrack.